final segment um, on the GSMC baseball podcast. Um, so we're going to be talking about here some spring training standings. I'm uh, just going over them, seeing if anything sticks out to us. Um, so, uh, yeah, I know we've been talking a lot of spring training recently. Um, and it does make sense because we are uh, in spring training time. So, uh, yeah, uh, going for the Grapefruit League here. Uh, top, I have uh, they, it is Baltimore at 11-2. and two. Not a surprise. They have so much young talent that it really does make sense for them to be at the top. Um, second, we have Washington at six and four, who also that they also make sense to be that high. Again, a lot of young talent like Baltimore, um, a lot of young talent that's also showing off in uh, spring training as well. Atlanta seven and five, kind of surprising, but they've been playing their starters a lot. They don't really have that much young talent, so uh, it's you know it's kind of surprising. But uh, a lot of young talent has uh, been playing a lot of a lot of the starters. Uh, excuse me for the, the Braves have been playing, and uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Definitely kind of surprising, but when you play your starters, I'm sure you'll win a little bit. Houston seven and five, same thing. Maybe you know, uh, not nothing much stand out here. Kind of mediocre. Same with the uh, Red Sox eight and six. Uh, they have some young players who I think have been starting a little bit. Um, some of their guys have been performing well. So uh, yeah, uh, good for the Red Sox being at eight and six. Uh, Tigers at six and five, mediocre. It's what I expect them to be. Um, the uh, Mets and uh, Twins. Mets, sorry, or only Mets, sorry. They're five and five, exact, uh, exactly at mediocre standard. Um, that's what I expect for the Mets right now. They're pretty mediocre. Um, not much they'll say about that. Um, yeah, they. Uh, I think that's a representation of what their season's going to be as well. Um, you know, they're they're exactly mediocre, exactly just middle of the pack. So I think it makes a lot of sense. Minnesota five and six, kind of surprising. I think they've had a good amount of players play for them. Um, I guess they've had some uh, underwhelming performances, but uh, so again, I just want—I want to preface before I go more into this that it's spring training. None of these things really matter, unless uh, you're seeing something really of a uh, of sorts that is um, is really bad. So um, I doubt that, though. I don't think it's um, it's a huge deal. So uh, yeah, not a, not a huge deal. Yankees five and six. That's really surprising to me. Um, I mean, when you've had Juan Soto perform like he has this uh, this spring training, Spencer Jones has performed really well as well. Kind of surprising that uh, the Yankees haven't been uh, doing that great. Um, but, you know, the pitching hasn't been that good as well. I mean, we saw Carlos Rodon yesterday um, not, not not performing very well. Um, so uh, I think that could uh, that could be it as well. Um, Pittsburgh, 5-7. and seven. Um, Also surprising, I'd say. Um, a lot of young talent there. Kind of surprised they haven't... Uh, they haven't formed up to that uh, standards, but again, it's spring training, so uh, not gonna not gonna knock them too hard. Uh, Philly, um, Philly's four and six. Uh, so is St. Louis. Both those teams kind of make sense. Not a lot of pitching, um, but some nice young hitters, some nice guys to uh, you know uh, look forward to and uh, see. So uh, yeah, uh, makes sense for both Philly and St. Louis to be uh, four and six. Kind of mediocre, but uh, less than that a little bit with you know being under five hundred. So. Uh, not a, not a big surprise, and um, yeah, I definitely uh, I definitely think uh, both teams are where they uh, are expecting to be. Uh, both ten, both Florida teams are below them now. Miami at three and five, and uh, Tampa at four and seven. Um, both are not surprising. I think this is what I kind of expected for them, where their teams are right now, where the young town is, um, who's playing for them as well. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see if. Uh, the Marlins not signing anyone for NC, uh, like to spark under their team and, you know, kind of proves to them. And it's going to be them trying to prove to their front office that, hey, we can win. We know you don't believe in us, but we believe in us. And we're going to be uh, really excited to uh, watch a week. You know, we're going to be really excited to uh, prove you wrong. And, uh, yeah, uh, definitely uh, keep going with that uh, young core from the Marlins. Uh, Tampa, again, I don't know what's going on with them. Four and seven. Not great, but, again, they're dealing with a lot right now with uh, – their shortstop not being there forever, most likely. So uh, I'll give them a little bit of a, a break. Uh, Toronto last, 3-8. and eight. Pretty surprising, honestly. I don't think they're that bad. I don't think the teams they've been rolling out are that bad. But uh, I guess uh, things have not been rolling their way. I know uh, Daniel Vogelbach's been uh, performing pretty well in, in uh, spring training. So uh, good for him. Hoping he makes the uh, the team. And uh, I think it would be pretty funny if he did. Because uh, Daniel Vogelbach's just a, just, you know, just a good-looking guy. And uh, I think uh, I think as someone uh, all baseball fans can... Uh, and root for. Um, I don't know if I just messed the volume there. If I did, I apologize. Um, 
the Dodgers now. Um, we're going to the Cactus League, of course. Um, they are 10-3 and three, um, at the top. Not surprising. A lot of the starters have been playing. Tyler Glass now has been off to a great start. Yoshino Yamamoto was off to a great start his first time and yesterday. Um, he didn't really pitch well yesterday against the uh, against the White Sox, but they still, the Dodgers still end up winning 12-9. to nine. So I think that's what's going to happen with the Dodgers. That's that's just simply how good they are. Like, it's not it's not even a joke at this point. They're just so good. And even with their players underperforming, it's not going to go great. Um, Kansas City is 9-4. and four. Really good for them. I did not um, anticipate this at all. Um, I don't, they don't really have that many top prospects or guys that should be playing right now. But, uh, hey, they're doing pretty well. So, uh, you know, uh, props to them, really, and uh, good for them. Uh, Colorado, 8-4. and four. Same thing as the Royals, really. Um, they don't really have that many top prospects, but uh, hey, they're performing well. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna knock them on it. And uh, great for them. I mean, yeah, really good for them, and uh, happy for them. Uh, Texas seven and four. Um, not surprising. I mean, I've made a short about it a few times. I've talked about him a few times. Why Langford? I mean, God, this guy's so good. This guy's so so good, man. Oh my goodness, people don't realize how good Wyatt Langford's gonna be when he comes up. I'm telling you. When Lyle Langford wins Rookie of the Year this year, and when he comes up and is an all-star ready, come back to these podcast episodes where I've talked about him, because I am so high on Wyatt Langford. I think he's an absolute stud, and I'm super, super excited to watch him when he does come up in the big leagues with uh, Texas. The Angels, 8-5, and five, kind of all surprising. Not that many prospects for them that are top, top tier guys, but uh, hey, good for them. Uh, Cincinnati, 6-5. and five, uh, Oakland six and five as well, makes sense. Both are kind of mediocre right now. Oakland I thought would be a little lower, with how much of a uh, dumpster fire their organization is right now. But uh, hey, good for them that the uh, players are fighting back against the uh, against the men upstairs. So uh, yeah, really excited for them. Uh, for the players, not the organization. Um, Arizona is six and six. So are the Cubs. Both teams kind of surprised about. It. I thought they'd be doing a little bit better. Um, Arizona is playing right now, so I guess we'll, uh, we'll check in on, uh, on what they're doing. Um, so, uh, yeah, but, uh, I can't get up the game right now. Oh, there it is. Uh, they're losing 5-1. to one. Okay. So, I guess they're not gonna, they're not gonna stay at that, uh, that, that for a little, for a while now. But, uh, yeah. Uh, the Cubs, 6-5. and five, six, oh, I just talked about the Cubs. What am I doing? Sorry. Uh, as you can see, I'm a little, uh, I'm a little, uh, off my rocker these past two episodes, but it'll be okay. Um, I've had some uh, problems with the studio, with filming as well, so uh, it'll be okay. Um, Tuesday to uh, Friday, I'll be uh, I'll be streaming. It'll be better. Um. So uh, yeah, the cut uh, the Padres seven and eight. Um, I thought they'd be higher with the amount of young talent that's playing, with the amount of guys that are playing, but uh, still not that crazy. Still not that bad. Uh, San Francisco three and six, kind of really bad. Honestly, didn't didn't really expect that. White Sox 4-9, they're really bad. 4-9 is kind of a representation of what they're going to do this season. Not surprised. Um, Cleveland 3-8. Um, I don't really know what to make of Cleveland this year. I've talked about that a few times. They're just kind of a really weird team. So uh, not, a, not not entirely sure what to make of this. The Mariners being 2-9 as the worst team in the league for spring training is kind of surprising. Um, I'm, re- I'm, sur- I'm surprised about that. I mean, yeah, I thought they would have been much better. So uh, definitely... Uh, Definitely kind of a shocker there. Uh, we're going to end off here. Kind of a quicker segment because I took a little bit of a longer time with the other ones. Um, you have uh, Texas 5. Uh, they're beating the Arizona Diamondbacks. I talked about 5-1. to one. Um, Chicago's beating Milwaukee 2-1. to one. Seattle's beating the Angels 1-0. No, maybe they'll finally get another win. Um, you also have um, the uh, Rays beating the Phillies 3-2. to two. Uh, The Braves beating the Red Sox 3-2. to two. So, uh, yeah, that's going on for spring training right now. Um, that's the end of, of the stream as well. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, I won't be streaming on um, Friday and Monday, but I'll still have content out there if you guys want to watch it. So, uh, yeah, definitely uh, definitely looking forward to that. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the support, and uh, it's always appreciated. So uh, thank you so much, and uh, see you on Tuesday. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Let's go I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow Feel like it's gonna be a bad day Yeah, I'm tired of shit And the coffee ain't hit yet Damn, ain't that great I don't wanna go to